really really easy to blend I just use um, what do I use <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foods for you today and I would say my makeup situation and preferences this week were kind of similar to last week because I was feeling the like duochrome -y, unicorn -y makeup situations and just like really colorful makeup. Like I have a lot of colorful makeup favorites this week and just just fun stuff lots of fun things to talk about so let's get into the fun things first off this beauty right here oh my goodness i'm obsessed with this thing this is so pretty this is the tarte make believe in yourself eye and cheek palette i mean just look at it just the outside is gorgeous and then you open it and it's even more gorgeous inside it's super reflective but this is such a gorgeous palette. I did a whole get ready with me video with this on Monday so you can kind of see it like in action. And I did also include swatches in that video so you can see swatches there too. So it wasn't a review. It was kind of like a first impressions get ready with me but also threw in some swatches in there. But let me show you some swatches really quick right now. Like this one is Mystic. I have this on my lower lash line. What the what? That's amazing. It's like a silvery turquoisey blue oh my gosh this one is marvel this is like a what is that it's just like unicorn gorgeousness it's like a light chartreusey green kind of a color i have wings on my eyes today just like a gorgeous kind of i don't know coppery sort of a shade this is just fun and metallic-y and unicorn-y. There's only one matte in the palette. I don't know why I'm pointing to my hand because the matte's not there. There's only one matte in the palette, but I still love it. Like I would have loved if they maybe made the palette just a little bit bigger or something just to include a couple more mattes, but I wouldn't want to lose any of the metallics for more mattes because the metallics are all just gorgeous. They perform amazingly well. Somebody mentioned that they wished I wouldn't have used a base in that Get Ready With Me. It was a Get Ready With Me, so I was trying out and playing with different makeup. It wasn't like specifically a review on this palette, so I play with a lot of different things in Get Ready With Me's. But just an FYI, even not using a base, like, um, do I have a base? I do have a base on today. I use bases most days. But I have used this without a base, and these shadows are still really gorgeous. So, don't be alarmed. I don't think you need a base with these, but I think a base kicks up really any shadows. I think it just like intensifies them even more. But these are absolutely beautiful, so intense, so gorgeous, just fun and happy. It's a fun, happy palette, and I was loving it this week. On my cheeks this week, I have several different favorites. I'm actually wearing all of them right now. So we have a lot going on with the cheek situation right now, but I love it. I think it's just so bright and just fun. It's just something different, you know, so that's what I was loving. So first off, I've mentioned this so many times on my channel, but I really don't feel like this gets as much love as it deserves. This is the Benefit Dandelion Dew. I absolutely love this thing. Like it's just the most beautiful, I'm not really even like a liquid cream blush lover. Like I just really don't use them very often, but this one, I mean, this is just absolutely beautiful. It's so easy to work with. It just blends amazingly well. It's gorgeous by itself. It's amazing layered. It lasts really well throughout the day. So it really helps to like lock in your blush and really just kind of, it's not a stain necessarily, but it really just sticks around. It's so good. Just really, really easy to blend. I just use, um, what do I use? <laughs> a an elf small duo what's that called is it the duo fiber oh my gosh i've talked about it a million times on my channel the little one i think it's a duo fiber you know what i'm talking about one of those that like just really helps to kind of like buff on the blush that's what i use for this and it's just easy to use and gorgeous so that's the first thing i have going on with my cheeks and then next over the top of that i have one of my very favorite blushes this is in my top five favorite blushes video this is max just a wisp mineralized blush it's just like super girly and angelic and it's very it's an out there kind of a blush because it's a super highlighty blush i mean i do have a highlight on with it but 
even by itself, it's in between a highlighter and a blush. And I really feel like, you know, the, the um, deeper your skin tone, the more like a highlighter it will be. Um, you know, I'm pretty fair complected. So it's, it's a blush on me, but it's borderline a highlighter on me too, because it's, it's just so light and so reflective, but so amazing. I mean, look at that. Ooh, it's so amazing. And especially over Dandelion Dew, um, Dandelion Dew kind of like takes it more to a pink versus a highlighter. So the two of them are really, really gorgeous together. So that was another thing I was wearing and loving this week, but I love this blush all the time. I don't love the packaging though, because it's like, oh my goodness, it makes me crazy. I have to like turn it upside down. And even then, see, there you go. It's just crazy packaging. It's gorgeous to look at, but holy moly, it makes me crazy. Now let's talk about this highlighter situation. So we got some intense highlighter going on, but like a really cool, different, pinky blushy highlight. So a little bit of it is just a wisp, but then quite a bit of it, the majority of it is this. This is the BH Cosmetics Blacklight Highlight Six Color Palette. So this is brand new and I've been really loving this. Um, I'm gonna do a whole review on this. So I'm gonna do a separate video on this specific palette. So the two that I have on, I mainly have on Illusion, which is just like a really, it's a really cool purpley pinky highlight. And then I also have On Point. So a little bit further down on my cheeks, I have On Point, which is more of just a pink, like a, a darker duochrome pink. And then Illusion is lighter and more purpley. But, and these are the two that I've really mainly worn this week. But it's just like, they're really cool because they're less of like a white highlight with a flashing to them and more of like a color highlight you know they really just have more color to them but then that kind of duochrome flash i hope that makes sense so they don't really like seem to have as much of like a white base to them more of a colored base so really neat really different um something to note about this palette and i will you know i mentioned this in the review too so this is a little preview the i mean the thing that really kind of gets me about this palette is there is a really funky smell, like a really funky smell to it. It's very just kind of chemically and odd. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's just chemically. So kind of just a funky sort of a smell, like a powdery chemical kind of a scent. So don't like the smell of it, but I really do like these highlighters. Like I've worn them a couple times this week and each time I'm, I'm impressed with them. So, but again, I will do a video on this and kind of do some like, I'll look through my different highlighters and see if I have some like comparison ones or that kind of info. So that will be coming. Now on to lips. So I was really into bright, colorful, pinky lips this week. So this combo right here was definitely a standout favorite for me, but I'll get to that in a second. But I also really love this this week. This is the L'Oreal, I don't remember what these are called. <laughs> Looks like this. It's got the like pinky sort of a, does it have a name on it? No, I'll link it for you down below. I'll list it and link it for you. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's not like pure color, true color. I don't know. That could be totally wrong. Anyway, so these lipsticks, this is like a pinky neutral sort of a color, but it's really pretty. This is 112 Unending Kiss. And I just love it because it's like one of those colors that goes with everything and it's an everyday color, but still like girly and neutral. So I love that about it. It's just, it's got, it's got more of like a neutral side to it, but a little bit of like color and fun and girliness to it. So it's just like a light mauvey, glossy pink, just really beautiful and wears for a good amount of time too, which is really nice. So these are great lipsticks. I think this is the only color that I have in this line, um, but I really do like it. It's really gorgeous. Like, I like the color of it and I like the formula. I broke out one of my MAC lipsticks that I haven't worn in a really long time. This is MAC's Speak Louder and it's one of their cream sheens. So it's like a really beautiful, like pinky red sort of a color. It's like right in between pink and red. 
like a raspberry. Yeah, like a raspberry sort of a color. I really like the cream sheens because they're like a creamy formula, um, but they're really, I feel like they're versatile because you can apply them intensely like that and really have like full on pigment, or you can just kind of like apply a little light layer and rub your lips together. And then you have that kind of like glossy wash of color to your lips. So there's a versatility there and they're really comfortable. So I like that too. But yeah, just a really fun, bright raspberry, pinky red kind of a color. So wore that. I really need to show my MAC lipsticks more love because I have so many favorites that I really enjoy from my MAC lipstick collection. So I really need to like grab some more out and wear them more often. And lastly, let's talk about this combo that I'm wearing on my lips right now. These are all amazing individually, but they're really, really beautiful paired together. It was just kind of like a happy accident yesterday. I just put all these on and I was like, oh my goodness, I love all these together. Okay, so the lip liner is the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Bloom. This is just like one that I grab out a lot. It's like a uh, like a purpley pink sort of a color. And then I put on um, this. This is the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Mother. I love this color. This is so gorgeous. You know what, I, I need to like show you them layered together somehow. Okay, so let me get that over there. And then the lipstick that I have on over that. So those are gorgeous together, just like the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. But then over that, I put on this. This is one of the Merle Norman lipsticks from their spring collection, which is so cute. I still need to play with it more, but the packaging on the eyeshadow palettes and the blush duo, oh my gosh, it's denim. It looks like denim. It's so cute. But anyway, this is a lip color from that collection. This is the creamy lip color in pink about it. And it's a bright pink. It's a really fun bright pink, but like, on its own, it's really more bright and glossy, but then over Mother, it like just makes this really fun combo. You can see it on my lips, what they look like all together. But anyway, I swatched them all individually and then over here together. I didn't swatch the liner over there, but you get the idea. Okay, so there's the liner, there's the liquid lipstick, there's the lipstick, and there's the liquid lipstick and the lipstick together. <laughs> that sounds really complicated, but it's just gorgeous. I mean, I think you could go with any of these by themselves and be happy or layer them together and it just like gets even better. Cause I feel like layered together, like it just, I feel like this, the lipstick helps this be a little bit more comfortable and the liquid lipstick under this helps to really like adhere it to the lips and give it more longevity. Cause this is a pretty glossy sort of a lip color that kind of moves and you know, isn't gonna be around quite as long cause it's more of a glossy, comfortable formula. Whereas this is, you know, a liquid lipstick. So it's really gonna stick, but not be comfortable. So anyway, they just work nicely together. I absolutely love that color combo. It's that gorgeous, just bright, fun combo. It's amazing. I've been wearing this for a while, so this is kind of like, you know, set down a little bit so you see less of the gloss at this point, but oh, I could go on and on. I just was so excited when I put this combo together and just, it just worked so well. It's such a pretty pinky combo. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what were you loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.